All right, hello everybody. Harvey Tucks Prison here. I got a TikTok video. I'm going to show you guys about the Alabama prisons and what's happening there. And uh, I would really like uh, for you guys to share this video. It's from a guy named, I don't know how you'd say it, uh, it's K E S slash I O. He's the one who did the video. And. Uh, it's, it's horrible in Alabama, you know. I've seen other videos where it's bad in Alabama. But anyway, I want to show you this. And uh, please leave me a comment and uh, share this video. And I uh, thank you for watching. Bye. Castillo Vaughn is going viral for his deteriorating medical condition inside an Alabama state prison system that had to remove his internal intestines because they were starving him to death. Castillo's treatment, by the way, is the norm for all inmates, where both men and women that are incarcerated are treated like slaves in order to make cheap furniture and license plates and like shit they can sell on Shopify. Like, I'm not even exaggerating a little bit, the purpose of the Alabama prison system is to incarcerate as many people as possible for free labor. Disguised as a work training program, Alabama gets paid on both ends. On the one side, it takes money from the government in order to accommodate inmates, but on the other hand, it uses inmates as slave labor to make stuff to sell to other prisons and big box retailers. That's, that's an office chair. They're selling office chairs. After Castillo's emergency surgery went viral, inmates in six different prisons decide to go on strike. They're not making shit for free anymore. And what did the wardens do? They decide to starve them too. So now they're getting two meals a day of this instead of three. Okay, I exaggerated. Sometimes they get this. And for all the people that are like, oh, I did a little bit of time, my food wasn't that much better than the pictures, just a reminder, they've cut their meals from three to two. 30% of their calories are taken out, and only one of our meals in the morning was cold. The rest of them were hot, like we got enough calories to get us over to 2,000. They're now consuming less than 1,000 every day. Like for fuck's sake, that's just the ends of the bread. Families of inmates have noticed the deteriorating health conditions of their loved ones, and when they complained, this is how the state responded. Canceling all inmate visitation this weekend or are urging prisoners to uh, update their loved ones with the change. Well, the prisoner stoppages actually are taking place at about half a dozen men's prisons across Alabama. Yesterday, the Department of Corrections announced it is also limiting the number of daily meals for inmates to two. It claims both the meal limits and visitation cancellation are not retaliation for the strike, but a byproduct of not having enough staff to handle those services without the necessary inmate workers. Translation, we depend on slave labor so that we can use the profits to hire people to feed them. There's over 122 for-profit prisons in the state of Alabama, and none of them can be investigated for human rights abuses because they're private. And this is the reason why Alabama's so hard up to turn a profit with slave labor. The living conditions for the men and women stuck inside the Alabama prison system were so bad that Wall Street didn't even want to touch them. They didn't care if they were turning a profit, they were like, nah, we're not risking the PR. And there were publicly traded companies like Core Civics that used to own these Alabama prisons that were like, oh man, you guys are taking this shit too far, we're out of here. Like for fuck's sake, when George Bush Sr. has to file a 126 page commission on how badly women are getting graped inside your prison system, shit's bad, man. Shit, I'm actually going out of order. There was so much corruption. I, I forgot to tell you that all the executives use the money that's supposed to be used to feed the inmates towards like cars and rent and like legal fees. Here, just to close out on how Alabama is codependent on slave labor and overcrowding their prisons, they use the COVID relief funds that they got from 2021 to build two new prisons because Wall Street backed out of building them. Alabama, which happens to have the highest death rate from coronavirus in the United States, is planning to use federally provided coronavirus relief funds to construct prisons.